Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the most important things in Laravel that is the allocant relation. Alright, so what is allocant relation? Right, and allocant relations is a very important feature in Laravel, right, which allows you to relate the uh, tables in a very easy format. Okay, so actually, it provides a very beautiful, simple, active record implementation for working with your database right so each database table has a corresponding model which is used to interact with that particular table okay suppose here you can see there is user model so, so if you just go to the directory you can see inside the app models here is user model right so actually user model is responsible to connect with this user's table right so in this video we are going to create a model and we will create a migrations also and we will migrate that things we will insert some data into uh, that table and we will get the result using allocant query right so i will show you all the things so first of all how to create a model and how to create a migration so simply if i uh, just uh, going to create a model so simply write php artisan make model okay suppose i'm going to create a model my model name is student and along with that i want to create a migration also so simply just use minus m just enter this so model created successfully and created migrations okay so if you just go to the directory you can see a new model is created that is the student model and a new migration created that is the create student stable right so if you just go to the database just go to the migration you will create a new migration that is create student stable okay so actually this migration is related to create a student stable right so now the table id is a references for a column that is it will create id which is primary key and auto incremented and this table timestamps is responsible to create two columns that is created at and updated at suppose i need two extra columns suppose i need student name so simply write table string and my column name will be suppose name and let's use another suppose i want to use the table string and also the email right so simply write string and i want email okay so when actually we will migrate these things we will get one two three and four five right so five columns will create so simply just go here and write php artisan migrate so it will actually migrate the create student table and now if we just go here and refresh this you can see a student's table is created also there have a name email and this id created and updated okay and now i need to insert some data to check the relations or to get the arrays or to fetch some data from the student's table right so how we can get this so simply we have an option to seeding some data right so i already discussed about all those things so if you don't see my previous data how uh, seeder or how faker is working so please see from my previous video so we have a database seeder right and here actually we will use the database use db and i will also use the faker to create a multiple uh, data at a time right so simply write use faker slash factory uh, factory fsc t o r o factory as faker okay so simply write faker and now i will insert data so simply just uh, write here dollar uh, faker equal to uh, faker create okay so let's initiate the faker function so faker create so this is the faker function sorry okay and now i just want to insert multiple data at a time suppose i want uh, 10 records okay so simply write for each range suppose i want 1 to 10 records and just use as index okay and uh, simply uh, just open the brackets inside here i just calling the db table and suppose my table name is students so simply use the students here and i will insert some data quickly so insert 
and inside the insert I want to fill the two columns that is name and email so simply write faker dollar faker name and simply write email okay so we have a already name and email column inside my table so simply use the faker and write email okay so database seeder is complete now just run this so php artisan db sit sorry sit so database setting completed successfully and let's check so it will create 10 records as we have provided the 10 okay so seeder part is done now i need to get the result from this table so if you check i already have models basically model is responsible to get the record so let's go to the app model uh, student model so this student model is responsible to get record but we will create a controller that is student controller and from that controller we will call a model and using model we will get the record right so simply let's create a model so php artisan make controller c o n t r o l l -E controller suppose my controller name is student controller okay controller already exist just actually we created that controller for my previous video so just go to the controller and let's see student controller so actually i am removing all the things which i don't need and i just i going to create just like when you create a new controller, right so when you create a new controller basically these things will appear right so these are the things now i need to call the student model from the student controller so just use the namespace so simply write uh, use app models so simply write use app models and here my model name is student right so this is the class name actually we need to write the class name and using this we can uh, get the uh, result from student table so simply create a public function uh, get student okay and from there just uh, call uh, student data and simply write student and write all so i need all the data from the table right so simply write return dollar student data okay now i need to call these functions from the routes so just go here and inside the routes just go to the web.php and here you can see this is the web.php and first of all we need to register this uh, controller into the web.php so simply write use and then my controller name that is the student controller okay so student controller is registered into the here and now i am, I am going to uh, create a link the so route get suppose so write a student list and let's call the controller column, column class and what is the function name so i need to call the get student function okay so simply write get student so if you just go into this link you will get all the result so before that we need to run the application php artisan sir okay so application is running now refresh yes running now just go to that link so we are getting all the records right so we are getting zero to nine all the records okay so actually these are the allocant relations means we don't need to write direct query we are calling actually the student model and we are getting all the data from here but the thing is if i have a different table suppose the table name is a student list or something all student okay now here my model name is student so how you can get that that time we can uh, specify the table right so simply write a protected dollar table and this is my table name suppose students okay so this is a custom table name so if you write this table name so when you call the student model that time that time you will get that record from this table okay so the common thing is when you create a model that should be singular form that is only student and their table will be created as a students okay so let's check students so this is the common structure right 
so if you want to create your own so you can uh, create and you can customize using that so as the student table name has a students that's the reason we don't need to write these things and if the student model have defined name and table name is different that time you can specify in this way this is the that is the important thing sometime you may not have a, a same kind of structure that time you can specify the table name in this way right so this is the basics of eloquent relation actually eloquent relations is lots of things so we'll discuss in our upcoming video actually actually eloquent relations is handled with multiple tables like uh, some tables are joined with one to one relations some tables are joined with one to many relations and some are many to many relations that time how can we handle so next day we'll go in deep of eloquent relations and we will uh, discuss each and every types of eloquent relations right so hope you will like this video and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section next day we are going to discuss about the type wise eloquent relation so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye